I've got two identical players at two different clubs. One of them being trained as an advanced forward. The other being trained as a no-nonsense centre-back. How will that impact their careers? Let's find out, shall we? The two players are both strikers. As I mentioned, 90 current ability, 200 potential ability. Same age, same height, same everything. Even exactly the same attribute breakdown. Same hidden attributes. They're all perfect. Now, what we've done is we've actually taken over Notts County and Wrexham. So if I look at player Juan and I look at his training, he has been trained as a no-nonsense centre-back. Whereas if I look at Dan, he's been trained as an advanced forward. Now, the question is, how much will that impact their careers going forward? Notts County and Wrexham are both two of the favourites to go up. As you saw in real life, what a season it's been for those two teams. And the reality is, is they're probably both going to be there or thereabouts to go up. So if I give them a little bit of a push with a wonder kid, Surely they'll get there. How far will they elevate them up the leagues? And will Dan massively outscore Juan? That's the question. Because being trained as a defender, we'll see their attributes grow very differently. Or at least I think we will. So, without further ado, let's go and find out what's going on. We're going to go through one year first and see if either of these two manage to fire their teams to promotion. Oh, well, Notts County have gone up as champions on 93 points. Wrexham finishing second, but unfortunately... Didn't go through in the playoffs. In terms of the playoffs, they got to the final against Solihull Moors, where they lost 2-1 at Wembley. Oli Palmer with the goal. Player Juan, 13 in 42, it seems he got. 12 of those off the bench. So, an okay season. That being said, Dan, 21 in 38. A much better season for Dan. They were already starting to see it. And... Dan's only improved two more attribute points. They've gone from 90 to 110 and 108, respectively. Let's have a look at the polygons then. So Juan, who is playing as a uh, centre-back, has actually got better defensively, but worse in terms of vision. So his marking's gone up one. Oh, wait, his determination, decisions, off the ball, positioning. But his work rate, vision, concentration and stamina are all worse. His balance has improved as well. Well, there we go then. So we're already starting to see a little bit of a difference. And not that it matters, but Juan over a stone heavier, which is about seven kilos for those of you who've been whinging in the comments. They're already in different leagues. Now, Wrexham have surely got to go up this season and hope Notts County don't. So they can both be battling it out in the same league. But I'm thinking now with Dan a league higher, He's playing against more difficult opposition, which will mean better game time for him, testing himself more, and he'll probably improve even more. And he's probably going to score more goals, especially as he's been trained as a striker. So we're going to go just one more year and let's see what happened. Oh, wow. Well, crew have absolutely smashed the league here in the Vanarama National League. Wrexham have gone up as uh, winning. as winning. For, for, Wrexham have gone up winning the playoffs. Oldham on the same amount of points must feel quite aggrieved that they didn't manage to go up. But then I suppose Wrexham were here the season before. Were Oldham? Oldham were 18th the season before, so they've come out of nowhere. Pete Wild was certainly a wild season. And they've absolutely brought loads of people in. And that's probably why they've managed to get up there. Unfortunately, it will be another season in the Vanarama National for Oldham. But Wrexham beating Gateshead in the final. Paul Mullin with a goal. And Juan, let's have a look at him. He's got 31 in 42 this season 43 sorry one of those were off the bench so he's really kicked on 10 player of the matches six assists he has played an absolutely crucial part in Wrexham's promotion season did he get the golden boot yes he did oh he beat Paul Mullin who also got 31 because he played less games all got less assists as well, greedy bugger. And then Scott Quigley was three further back for crew. Fair play to Juan. And Juan is actually better than Dan at this point. 128 out of 200. Dan is only at 124 and he's still in League 2. How did he fare then in the most recent season? 29 goals in the league. Nine appearances off the bench. Didn't break sevens. Only got six player of the matches. Two assists. Where did Notts County finish then? In ninth. A very respectable ninth place. And the top goal scorer. Oh, it was Luke Armstrong who got 29 in 41. Whereas Dan got 29 in 44. A lot of the, Nine of those were off the bench though. What did Luke... How many did he have off the bench? 
to only two. So he actually had one more start, did Luke Armstrong. You got to say, Dan's got to feel aggrieved at that. And he has got, so he has improved quite a bit. And it looks here like Juan, his polygon is just superseded Dan's in, in nearly every way. Physicality, attacking and technical are all the same. Everything else is all about Juan. And it is as well. His attributes are all about Juan. And so it's very, it's very weird that he's got a new position at centre-back, which he is now competent at. So his new position as centre-back is taking up attribute points. He is... Con I've, I've, gone, I've come back to this screen now, but I've, I've sw switched the colours because I'm on Juan. Sorry. So all these green attributes are Juan being better than Dan. And yet, if you look at the shortlist, only four attribute points separate them. Very weird. So I'm going to jump through three years now to 2027. Has anyone got promoted? Has any of them finished top goal scorer? Or has Dan caught Juan? Has Juan pulled away even more? There's so many questions. Is he going to be a natural at centre-back by the end of this? Will and will Juan start playing centre back? Will Dan outscore him? Let's find out. That was straight at the shortlist screen, and they've both been promoted during those times. So in the last three years, we have had two promotions: one fifty four for Juan, one fifty two for Dan. In terms of their current ability, Dan's all of a sudden only light hearted. He's lost a lot of attribute points here. He's lost all of his 20s for adaptability, ambition, loyalty, pressure, professionalism, sportsmanship. Oh my God, his controversy's gone down from 10. So the first year um, after, the first year they were both back in this league, Notts County got straight out of there. So did Wrexham. Notts County winning the league, Wrexham coming in second. 105 points for Notts County. And again, Wrexham on 96. Unfortunate not to win the league with that total, but you know, fair enough. So then we went up to League One. And in League One, we had Notts County in 15th, at, but Wrexham finished in 5th and only missed out of automatic promotion by 3 points. A solitary win. Very tight at the top. 1st to 5th. 1st to 6th was separated by 5 points. What a close season that was. And then we've gone on the most recent season. Wrexham and Notts County are side by side in 10th and 11th place respectively. So, if we go down to the awards in League 2, top goal scorer, it was Dan who was top goal scorer with 27, whereas Juan got 22 in that season. If we look at League 1, well, we don't know where Dan is here. Dan's nowhere, he didn't even get 19 goals. But Juan, in the most recent season, 24 goals, getting the golden boot. So he's scoring at a pretty decent rate, over a goal every other game. Which is a pretty good return for a striker. Take Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo out of the equation. That's a good return for a striker. Dan, 15 and 16 in League One. He's really not done it in League One, has he? Which is a shame because he's actually a really decent player. Just a light-hearted personality that I can't get over. But in terms of the polygons, well, Dan's not only caught him back up, he's overtaken him and there's nothing that Juan's got outside of uh, Dan's polygon. Looking at the attributes... Determination's better for Juan, composure and pace. Everything else is all about Dan. Heading, dribbling, first touch, tackling for some reason. Juan's been trained as a centre-back, yet Dan's tackling's got better. This game, I mean, there's no logic to that whatsoever. How on earth is Dan's tackling better than Juan's? I don't know. And Juan is an accomplished central defender as well. 14 stone 4 he is. 13 stone for Dan. The one stone, four pounds, about eight kilo. Save you all converting it. And you can see here, Dan's got 10 under 21 caps, 12 goals. What about Juan? Just the two, just the two. Roberto Mancini in charge of England. Gaz resigned. The under 21s, we are looking at, well, neither of them are there. Under 20s, neither of them are there either. Certainly not in the senior squad. No. All right, well. They're both in League One. They both finished mid-table this season. It's 2027. Um, another three years because I want to see who hits 200 first, if either of them. They are literally neck and neck. It is 174 apiece. They're both in League One. The last time we were here, 10th and 11th respectively. And looking down the league here, we see Notts County in 14th, Wrexham down in 17th. Wrexham were in 9th the following season with Notts County getting relegated. And then Wrexham... In the most recent season, finished 19th and Notts County must have come back up. They did, finishing second to Colchester. So in terms of the award winners, goal top goal scorer, Dan got 39 in League 2. Absolute scenes over here. Dan Druff, 26 goals here. Juan getting 22. 
So Dan's got top goal scorer twice. Once in League One and once in League Two. He actually got top goal scorer. Yeah, winning the Golden Boot in the season Notts County got relegated. Unbelievable. So 170, 174 apiece. We've got Dan and Juan if we compare the two. So the first thing I'm seeing here is Juan once again is one stone six pounds more. More heavy. More heavy. Heavier. Words hard. Speak difficult. But Juan, out of, out of nowhere, has now got much better defending physicals considerably worse vision and considerably worse technical so they are now overlapping in terms of polygon and starting to look like very different players they're also only on five pound a week i've obviously not got a future transfer fee and they must have been on a youth contract and it's glitched out or something so basically world-class players because they're at 174 now that is world class they're playing in league one on the fiver a week in terms of the attributes then dan yeah, you can see here. Look, 16 for strength for Juan. He's improved that. Tackling's now level. Fantastic. Dan's really kicked on with his dribbling. Finishing, first touch. Heading, long shots, long throws. Passing. Marking's better for Juan. Right, we're finally starting to make sense, are we? Positioning, another defensive attribute. Brilliant. It's all making sense now. Vision's gone up massively for Dan. There we go then. 174. They're both on. Who will get there first? We're going to go through another three years to 26. Someone surely will have got there by then. Oh, Dan's on 187. Juan's on 186. Dan's back in League 2. Juan's in League 1. Dan's back as a professional. Juan's a model professional. In terms of performances then, Juan's down here in third as a top goal scorer. So, we were last here and Wrexham finished 19th. Notts County weren't in the league. They, they, Notts County got promoted. Wrexham coming third in the league and just missing out on promotion via the playoffs. Notts County narrowly avoiding relegation. I say narrowly, 11 points. Just finishing 20th. Then Wrexham finishing fifth. Notts County again, 50 points. This time it wasn't enough. They went down. Wrexham in the playoffs, Notts County relegated. And Wrexham once more finishing, oh, 10th this time. And the most recent season of League Two, Notts County were down in 15th. Oh dear. In terms of the award winners, and yeah, look at Dan. Only 25 goals. I say only. 25 goals this season for Notts County. Not good enough. Timmy Abraham. Look at this though. 18 goals was enough to win the Golden Boot the previous two seasons. That's not much, is it? Dan must feel rather aggrieved. And Juan did get the golden boot when Juan, when Dan was still in the league. 28 for Juan. So he is keeping pace in terms of goals. We'll check that out in a minute. Look at this. It's Kane full of love. Oh, we we're getting all the all the throwbacks to um, the Oldham days. This is a regen that's regened again. Kane full of love. Getting, <laughs> looking, looking, looking borderline similar. He's contracted to Fulham. He was on loan. That's thrown me. That's thrown me that as gang. Sorry. Right. Let's go and have a look at their um let's go and have a look at their record, shall we? So Dan has got 261 goals in 475 games at a 6.89. So he's got a higher average rating and slightly worth less goals. 257. So it's, it's literally neck and neck. 257 to 261. It, there's not a lot in it at all, is there? There's Juan's uh, polygon, and as you can see, still competent an accomplished centre back. No more under-21 caps because he's over 21. And no England caps. Phenomenal polygon. And Dan also looking like quite the player. Phenomenal polygon. If we compare the two polygons. And it's really starting to come into its own, isn't it? Aerial, Dan's better. Technical, attacking and vision. But then in terms of speed and defending and mental attributes, Juan has got the edge. And Juan, I'd say, is having the better career. He's got a better average rating and... He's playing in a team that is pushing for promotion. Notts County are floundering. And that could be down to the squads. Absolutely. It could be with how the clubs are being run. It could be the investment. It could be the transfer policy. It could be anything. But we started them off at two teams that were very favoured for promotion from the Vanarama National League. So we started them off reasonably level. Even though Wrexham have got Ryan Reynolds and Rob McKenney as uh, owners. So maybe not, maybe not quite so even. But anyway, 187 to 186. The race is on. We're at 26 years old. Will either of them actually get to 200? Let's just jump through two years to 28 and see if anyone gets there. Well, they've not improved at all. 187 and 186 is where they've stopped. 
Notts County still in League 2. Uh, Wrexham still in League 1. Juan and Dan still where they were. Most recent seasons, he's got 29 and then 35. He must have got the golden boot that season. Come on. He has. He's won the golden boot both, both seasons. Where did they finish then? Promoted this recent season. They've only gone and got promoted. The season before that, they finished 14th. And last, so the season, Wrexham finished 15th the uh, season before this current one. And this season, they finished sixth, again missing out in the playoffs. Teams that we've hit the level, League One. That's where these players are. And I don't think they're going to get much further. Will either of them get them to the championship? That will be the barometer for the main success, I think. How's Juan done? Oh, 17 in that most recent season. That was not a good season. But he, he, I tell you why, because he's played 15 games as a centre back. He's now playing as a centre-back. He's also a natural at centre-back. It's happened, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there we go. There we go. And you can see he's considerably worse in the going forward department. And they are now playing him at centre-back sometimes. We're going to go to 2039 now, another four years. So they're 32 years old because they'll be starting to decline. I don't think they're going to improve anymore. So they'll be starting to decline. We'll see who declines slowest. Dan's at 184 and Juan's at 181. So they've only declined a little bit. Oh, still in League One. And the fall, and this so this is the first season we were back and Wrexham were down in 17th. And Notts County got relegated again. They're yo-yoing from League One to League Two. Wrexham, 13th. Wrexham came in eighth and then sixth when Notts County did survive, staying up in 18th. So if we look at the golden ball, golden boots, sorry. So Dan, four years ago, again in a relegation team, went down with the golden boots. Juan kept pace with him. Must have played quite a few games up front that season. How's he been doing since? Well, he's had a couple of really shocking seasons for goals because he's probably not played up front. And then this most recent season scored 28. Dan got golden boot both times in League Two. So it's difficult to say, is he forming better? I mean, in terms of goal scoring ability, he's now probably far and away mainly because he's playing in a worse league some of the time. But he's even scoring a lot of goals when they're getting relegated. So he's still performing very well in that regard. He's got 441 goals in his career, whereas Juan's only got 382. And that is because of some of the time he is playing defence. Absolutely, that's got to be the case. That being said, they both have the same starting point and both have the same sort of attribute push in the in the same general direction. So playing him in playing him at centre back is still not really the right the right thing to do. He's not great as a defender, is he? Nine tackling, 14 marking to be fair. God, that's got up on it. Look at his vision. Considerably worse. 18 to 15. Passing 15 to 13 as well. Well, there we go then. Uh, 2045 is when these guys move to Real Madrid. So I think I think I think we've almost proved our point. Let's go and have a look at the end of the careers and see how they fared and yeah, who did what. So Juan is on 131, Dan is on 125, and Notts County are in the bloody championship. Well, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. For a start, they've, they've both deteriorated massively. Let's have a look at their polygons. What a sorry state of the polygons. The physicals and the speed have fallen off the face of the earth. I mean, <laughs> so, so different. I've gone to the left-hand side now so we can see Juan's goal return. They've always been in League One. They went up. And they've been in League One ever since. Juan got 457 goals in his career. Dan, on the other hand, he's got 550, so nearly 100 more goals. And six years, so last year in 2038-39 when they were there, we'd seen him have a season. He went down the following season. He didn't do very well, did he, Dan? Came back up the first time of asking. He did all right. Then two awful seasons. An okay season in League One, getting promoted, and then a pretty poor season in the Championship, where they finished bottom, getting relegated by 10 points. They didn't even win it to go up. The game went up in second, and they only scored 59 goals. That's not great, is it, for a promotion-winning uh, team? Wrexham again getting playoffs. How many times have Wrexham got the playoffs? Well, I'm not counting finishing sixth there. Wrexham all the way down in 14th. But look at Wrexham. Let's have a look at their uh, actual Wrexham's um, league position. So the last three years they finished in the playoffs. Then one, two, three more years there. One, two, three, four. Ten times in this experiment, Wrexham have finished in the playoffs in League One and failed to go up. That would be such a kick in the teeth, wouldn't it, if you were a Wrexham fan? Always in the playoffs, never going up by them. Well, there we go. That's the end of today's experiment. None of them ever got capped for England, understandably. And we'll have a quick look. But well, there is no Ralph.
There is no Ralph. But anyway, yes. Hope you enjoyed this one, gang. Thanks for watching. Please do drop a like if you haven't already. If, you've, if you're new around here and you've not subscribed, give us a subscribe and go and check out this video. Oh, that was a good one, wasn't it? Hey, gang. Oh, you've, you've, you've been here before and you've seen that one. Well, check this one out. Well, it was all right, wasn't it? See you in a bit, gang. Take care. I'll see you soon.